Welcome to One Take, Take All Movie, movie reviews. reviews. I'm Barbara. And I'm David. And we do this just for our own enjoyment because we like to watch old movies. And we kind of hope that maybe some people see these and um, we'll, it will spark an um, interest in old movies too. But if you're seeing this for the first time, um, why don't you comment down below where you found it, how you landed on these, this video, and, um, and kind of like it maybe, and subscribe, and maybe share. Anyway, we, we, we're just interested in seeing how far we can go with this as far as um, how many people we can inspire to like old movies. I'll be quiet now. Tonight our movie is Casablanca. The old classic. 1942. And we're continuing our bogey series. Yep, joining Humphrey Bogart is Ingrid Bergman. Yes, Claude Sydney Greenstreet. Uh, yep, Sydney Greenstreet, Claude Rains. Yes, he's good. Peter Lorre. Peter Lorre. Conrad Veidt and Paul Hen Hen Henry Heinrich were also in the movie. Uh, the story is about... Uh, uh, Bogey plays a nightclub owner in Casablanca, which is mm -hmm. on the, in the French colony of Morocco. Mm -hmm. And uh, Casablanca is a departure point for many of those who are fleeing Nazi-occupied uh, lands for the free world. It's the second to the last stop before the United States of America. They go from Casablanca to Lisbon. And they have to get a pass in Casablanca to go on to Lisbon and get, be released from there to go to the United States. And there's a French resistance fighter who is seeking passage in Lisbon and uh, Bogey didn't realize until this uh, resistance fighter came into town that he was accompanied by uh, Bogey's old flame that he had met some and spent some time with in Paris. Ingrid Bergman. The thing about this man, what was his name, Laszlo, is what's funny is he's a journalist just like Bogey was in Passage to not Marseille. Passage. Was that it? Yes, Passage to Marseille. And he is doing the same thing that Bogey portrayed in Passage to Marseille. But anyway, so he's now he's a real leader in the, the French resistance. And he enlists uh, Bogey's help. Uh, Bogey's name was Rick, and I forget his last name. Rick. Rick Blaine. Blaine. Mm -hmm. he, he enlists Rick Blaine's help to get him out of the country. Mm -hmm. And of course, they're thwarted by, by the Nazis who, mm -hmm. are, uh, who are in town and know for a fact that this French resistance fighter is in there, mm -hmm. and they do not want him to leave the country. Mm -hmm. Because it is still uh, a free country. But it's considered unoccupied France. An unoccupied French colony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Anything else you oh, yeah. you want to go over some of our We have a bunch of trivia. A whole bunch of trivia about Casablanca. But I have to say, I didn't know but Bogey was only five eight. And um, how tall was Ingrid Bergman? Five She was five ten. Five ten. So he had to wear platform shoes. Any time that he was standing next to her, and they never shot him standing next to her. Um, the full body the shot. The full body shot. And then any time he was sitting next to her, he had to sit on pillows. And also, this was another one of those movies where um, many of the actors were uh, who played Nazis in the film were actually uh, had Refugees. escaped from Nazi Germany, which was rather ironic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got a whole bunch of trivia. Oh, I have a whole yeah. bunch. Yeah. Bogey's third wife. Uh, Grab a drink. <laughs> Bogey's third a bag wife. Of popcorn. <laughs> was very. Um, oh yeah. She she st stormed on the set often, and she was accused Bogey of having an affair with Ingrid Bergman, which, in, as I understand, they never after the movie they never saw each other again, but apparently they were known as the battling Bogies. <laughs> And there are so many things to say about it. Um, Sam's piano. Oh, Sam's piano. Sam's piano. He plays 
play it again, Sam. Very, very uh, familiar tune. It was auctioned uh, in, let's see, what year was that? It sold for $600,000 at a New York auction in, this, on, in December 2012. And didn't you say it's the most quoted movie? Yes, it it's the most the quoted most, movie. Yeah, and they never do ever, no one ever says, play it again, Sam, <laughs> in the movie. But they say, oh, here's looking at you, kid. And here, that was something that Bogey just improvised in the first scene, and the director wanted him to continue to use that. Here's looking at you, kid, through the movies. And I counted that. I think I counted. He I said that four or times, five times yeah. in, the, in the movie. Yeah. Anyway, there were six quotes from the movie that are on the uh, American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest movie lines. That was number five. Here's looking at you, kid. Number 20 was Lewis. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That is the last line of the movie, the very last line. Number 28 was play it, Sam, play as time goes by. Yeah, that's a good one. Number 32 was round up the usual suspects. <laughs> round up the usual suspects. That was toward the end of the movie. Yeah, that was at the very end of the movie too. But. Number 43 was we'll always have Paris, <laughs> like Bogey tells Ingrid Bergman. Yeah. And number 67, which is also very well known, of all the gin joints in all the towns in the world, she walks into mine. Yeah. Uh, also, there was a $100,000 insurance policy taken out on Bogey in case he would happen to die during production of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> what else? It's ranked as the number three greatest movie of all time the by the American Film Institute. It is a good movie. Michelle Morgan, who was in, she was in Passage, she was to, in Passage to Marseille. She, she was wanted, the wife. She wanted fifty-five thousand dollars to play the part, but uh, they could get Ingrid Bergman, Ingrid Bergman, for only twenty-five thousand yeah. dollars. So, so Michelle, Michelle Morgan missed out. Also, the song "As Time Goes By" was voted number two on the American Film Institute's one hundred years, one hundred songs list. There was also a rumor that Ronald Reagan was going to star in the movie, but uh, as I understand, that was never, that was never, Confirmed. never actual, never, it wasn't going to happen. Bogey was always their first choice for the movie. Okay. Um, yeah, Ronald Reagan would, it just wouldn't, wouldn't be have been the same in the movie. It yeah, wouldn't have mm -hmm. been the same movie. Bogey was an avid chess player, and between scenes he would, uh, he would hustle up a chess game with, whoever else was, wasn't working on the set. And the opening scene, the one where we first see Bogey, he's sitting at a chessboard playing a game against someone. It's included among the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 greatest American movies. There were three, three Oscars overall for the film. It was um, Best, best uh, Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. It's something about uh, Ingrid Bergman. She uh, spoke five languages. Oh, yes. Wait, let me see if I can guess them, if I can remember them. She was raised in Sweden, so she spoke Swedish and German. German. She learned French at school, and she made films in English and Italian. <laughs> Very good. Is that right? Not okay. All, <laughs> good. all of them. They said toward the end, it had been so long since she had done a, a, a film in Swedish that she had to have um, lessons to, to, to uh, firm up her Swedish accent. She was also nominated for four times for Best Actress wow. in Gaslight and Anastasia and she and one for those two and then she won Best Supporting Actress for uh, her role in Murder on the Orient Express. Yeah. That was in 1975 so that was quite a wow. bit later in her career. Yeah. So that was it. That was Casablanca. Yeah, it was great. It's five. It's a five. Watch it. It is a five. It's a good film. Yeah. I, I really liked, um, at the end, it's kind of a, a poignant yeah. ending. It's kind of neat. I, I thought it was very... It's sacrifice. It was love. a sacrifice. It was love and sacrifice and, you know... A very good movie. You can see, understand why it's a classic. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and of course, it was another one that that helped vault Bogey into superstardom, yeah. and why he was named uh, American Film Institute's best actor of all time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. that's it for.
for this time, Casablanca 1942. It's about an hour and 50 minutes. Certainly worth the time watching. It's in black and white, but it's very enjoyable. Yeah, it was good. We hope you'll watch it and stick with us for the rest of our Come back. bogey we've got, series. We've got a couple more bogeys uh -huh. to watch. I think so. we're going to do the African Queen and Action. what's the other one? Action, Action on the North Atlantic. I and and that one's good too. We're re-watching all of these so we can review them. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping thanks for by. Watching.